Hi guys, my name is Grace Park and today we're doing day 28 of Stepping Forward. Today's devotional is called Walking in the Light and the passage we will be reading from is Ephesians 5, 7 to 14. The passage reads, Therefore, do not be partakers with them, for you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth, trying to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness, but instead even expose them. For it is disgraceful even to speak of the things which are done by them in secret. But all things become visible when they are exposed by the light. For everything that becomes visible is light. For this reason it says, Awake sleeper and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. I personally really like this passage, and it has a lot to say. But this is what Pastor Mike thinks. So the Apostle Paul ended the last section of verses with the warning that the wrath of God will come down upon those who are disobedient. That is Ephesians 5 through, no, 5, 6. Now in verse 7, the Apostle advises us not to participate with the, these defiant and wayward individuals. The reason we are not so, to involve ourselves with these activities of these sinners is found in verse 8. The believer in Christ is no longer in the domain of darkness. As children of God, we do not walk in the dark. We do not move about aimlessly in the night where the sinner tries to hide his sin. We are children of light. We are out in the open. We can see and be seen. So the apostle warns us not to live like those in the dark, but we simply do not live in that because we don't. We simply do not live in that vicinity any longer. As children of the light... We must recognize the fact that our actions and behavior are not hidden from God. Our whole life is exposed to the eyes of God. We must refrain from thinking we can keep anything from him. As children of the light, we are to walk in the knowledge that our heart's intent is uncovered. We should know that we think could never... No, sorry. We should know that what we think could never be concealed from the omniscient and omnipresent God. We are children of the light and therefore must walk in a manner that reflects this new life. Furthermore, as children of the light, it is our responsibility to show God's light to others. When God's light is revealed, so is his son. What greater privilege is there than to point people to Jesus? Our walking in the light will do just that. He is the savior who will wash away the sins of every person who calls upon him. May we walk in the light and glorify God by helping others to see Jesus Christ. As we walk in the light, we will in turn expose the activities of darkness. Any light turned on within a room will reveal the contents of that room. As we walk in the light, the sin of others will naturally be exposed. We must be careful not to participate in those sins, but we also must be careful not to point a finger at other people in a derogatory manner. Let's walk in the light and allow God to use us to draw others to Jesus Christ. So, the challenge for today's devotion is, as Christians, we are in the light, therefore we are to walk in the light. Our life should be bathed in this light. We should enjoy its warmth and its ability to reveal. We no longer need to stumble and we don't need to worry about traveling along the wrong path. The Christian is in the light. Do you know that as born-again believers, we can walk in the light? God is pla has placed us there, and he will not remove us. We may think we are in the dark, but if we come to know Jesus Christ, then we're in the light. Take some time today and think about the light God has placed you in. Then think about walking in that light, and what the apostle reveals are the benefits and realities of this walking. God has called us out of the darkness and into the light. May our life shine. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.